Uh, we're talking a little bit about tracking, and I know that you were discussing with James about being genuinely scared in the bush. I just want to sh sort of try and explain something. Have a look at the vegetation of this area, and I'm going to be quiet so that you can listen to the sound of the wind blowing through, and just look as we do a sort of a, a scan of the place where her tracks have disappeared, you get an idea of just what a challenge is facing us. Listen to the sound of the wind. And this is what we call, somewhat affectionately, only ever so slightly joking, this is what we call getting scribbled weather. And what that means is that you can't hear and you can't see, the wind's howling, the animals can't hear you, they can't smell you, and you have an enormous chance in this kind of weather of bumping into something like a buffalo or an elephant. And you can see how little visibility there really is in this particular spot, and this is where her tracks have actually disappeared. I had this brief moment of suspicion that she might be hiding in the old reservoir that is off to our left. Now, I didn't really want to go and stick my head in there, and be faced with a, an angry leopard, and they do enjoy this kind of spot. So I just chucked a log into the middle of it. It's just a small stick into the middle to see if there was anything there. There isn't, but that's exactly where her tracks have headed. Now if you combine the fact that this is getting scribbled weather, and it's very descriptive that, it's, um, it, it describes quite comfortably what might occur, and combine that with the fact that this is a getting scribbled area, vegetation-wise, you understand that I've been for some short walks, but they have been relatively short. Her tracks are still so fresh though, and they're on this road. We've tracked her now for close to a kilometer that she's been wandering on these roads. So let's go and investigate. Three in the Row Pan is just up a little bit to the north of us. There's some angry fork-tailed drongos now alarm calling. I'm going to double check, because this is exactly where her tracks go off but she's kept me guessing 